So the B part of Muskrat Ramble starts on a C minor chord, um, the regular root position. The main thing that happens here, don't worry, don't worry so much about this C as the E flat and the G. They need to go up. Both levers need to go up. So I'm playing E flat and G. I'm putting them both up. At the same time, doing the same thing we did in the A part, where two levers at once, um, you know, one string in between them, so it's not a not a wide reach. So just practice doing those two levers at once, and they need to come right back out when you're done. So so don't even take your hand off. Play the lower one, play the higher one, put them back down. While you're playing, while you're putting them back down, your your right hand moves up one string to go to the next two notes, the F and the A. So um, the pattern you're going for, E flat and G, E natural and G sharp, F and A. So, so that's uh, what you would work on to practice getting that. Um, so when you play it in the tune, it's more um, staccato. Um, so just play it really quick and muffle it. So we're doing it go to we're gonna do those three and go to the B flat chord. A little bit of melody goes to the F7 chord. Same melody. Landing on the B flat. It starts over again. C minor. Then it goes to the same ending like in the A part. G. C minor, C7, F7, B flat, so the whole part together.